There, can everybody hear me now? Everybody hear me now? Is that good, guys? How's that? I don't I don't know why it was muted. Well, I do know why it was muted. Uh, I actually turned my button on, but uh, my mic was not set inside my streamlabs. But, guys, fellow farmers, thank you all for being here. Thank you for showing up. Um, I am not expecting a big crowd, as I was saying, uh, but we will roll with what we got, guys. Today, we're going to be on Blue Mountain Valley. This is the map that I have been working on since Monday. Monday morning, I got up, guys, and I just got done building this farm earlier today. About two hours ago, I got done with it. Uh, <laughs> game wrong. <laughs> that would be a good April Fool's joke. Hey, what's up, Sphinx? I know Sphinx has been very excited about a CJ Farms live stream. He's been super psyched. Now, a lot of you have been stoked up about this. And I appreciate you guys coming over. I'm sure you guys saw the community tab where I posted the link. Um, Truck779, amazing videos up in the house. Sphinx Silver, what is up? He said, oh my God, a CJ Farms live stream passes out. <laughs> Flying Planes 3, what's up, man? Game Roll's up in the house. Game Roll, I don't even know how you're a moderator over here already. You're not a moderator, right? Is that just the way you have your name? No. How are you a moderator over here already? Did I, I guess I made you one already? I don't know. Because when I seen you pop in the chat, I was like, wait a minute. I don't remember making him a moderator. But, I mean, but you're a moderator in my other chat, so not a big deal, man. Um... Oh, I did, didn't I? I added you, I think, when I first fired up the channel, man. I think I did. Oh, when we did the giveaway. Right, right. The uh, When I gave away one copy of Pharma Simulator 19, it ended up being like three copies. Uh, that was a good giveaway. Speaking of that, guys, at 1,000 subs on CJ Farms, I'm going to be giving away another copy of FS19, but... <clears throat> there's going to be another big prize with that, okay? This is going to be a big prize. I'm not going to tell you what it is. I will tell you there'll be an FS19 copy uh, given out with the big prize with it. But that will be at 1,000 subs, guys, which, in all honesty, we're not that far away from 1,000 subscribers, guys. We're sitting at 140 subs right now, so we are not that far away at all. But, guys, thank you so much for being here. Today, we're going to be on Blue Mountain Valley harvesting... Uh, let me get my game on pause. We are going to be harvesting grapes, guys. I have never harvested grapes. Um, the map that I picked out for the CJ Farms content um, is pretty cool, too. And like I said, I threw out kind of a hint last night in the live stream. Uh, but there is something on the farm that I'm going to be doing that is very awesome. I didn't even know existed on Farming Simulator 19 until a few days ago. But I would just say this. Bees. Bees that sting. That's the hen I'm throwing out. Bees that sting. So, it's it's awesome. Yeah, I uh, I did not know. I'm actually harvesting red grapes, uh, Paul G. I'm actually harvesting red grapes. I did not know that you... I mean, I knew you could harvest grapes. I just had to... I actually looked up DJ Goham Gaming uh, on his stuff to figure out what I needed to get. Which, there's only two maps that you can do this on. That is uh, a Shia map and Blue Mountain Valley. Uh, I decided to go with Blue Mountain Valley because... Um, let's pop up here real quick, guys. You guys can see this is a beautiful and amazing and huge farm, guys. I mean, it is just absolutely just... I mean, this is my vineyard right here, guys. What you see is my vineyard, okay? This is my vineyard. This is all fields out here. Um, and, and, you know, we're going to live stream for a while, guys. No worries. We're going to do plenty of work today. Um... But this is my, everything you see from here all the way down to here, and even back this way further. Let me speed my guy up. Uh, even over here, guys, this is all part of the farm as well. Uh, it's got a cow husbandry. It's got a pig husbandry. Um, I'm not too sure. I don't think it has a sheep husbandry. But I have got the, pan, the animal pen extension in with the global company. If you guys don't know what global company is, it is one of the most amazing mods, in my opinion, on FS19. Um, so with that being said, um, we can... Uh, ooh, I spawned right down beside this. With that being said, let me hop over here and I'll show you guys exactly... So, 
What you guys see right here with this, uh, the water spout, it actually allows you to put water in there uh, from the spout up here, or the valve, I mean. And here's your valve to actually turn and put the water. Now, the cool thing about this is you can move these around where you want. I decided to put this back here to make it seem a little bit more realistic so it wouldn't be like right up there next to it and on the other side of it. So I put it right here and, and shoved it in the ground to make it more realistic. So let's get back over to our... Um, I will, will let's go this way. I'm still trying to learn my way around the map, guys. I'll show you around the map a little bit here. Um, let me get my controller. Yeah. Uh, so down here, guys, we have got our harvesters. There's our beautiful John Deere harvesters. Um, this right here is our case uh, tractor, and it sounds beautiful. It sounds absolutely amazing. There's the sound of it right there. It sounds really good. And those beacons, though. Those beacons, those lights. And those hazards. I've installed, I've installed quite a few mods, guys, uh, since um, Erlengrot closed down. So, um, so there's the harvesters. Um, this right here, I believe, is our pig. This is our pig husbandry, which you can go in. I've not got no animals yet, uh, but this is our big pig husbandry right here. I've never, I've never done the pit, done pigs on. Uh, I've never dealt with pigs on FS19. So. I'm not really too sure how it works, but I will figure it out. I will figure it out. Let's close that back. Um, over here is my, my horse stable. I have a horse stable here. That's pretty cool. Um, and then on over here, guys, is where our chickens are going to be. You know what? We're going to go ahead and purchase some chickens real quick while we're over here. Uh, and they do require water now. Uh, well, they should. This is where you feed them. But with the Global Company Animal Pen Extension, they require water after you install that. But I don't see anywhere to put water. I really don't. But this is the chicken husbandry right here, guys. Pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool. I I really uh, I really dig it. I, I think it's uh, I think it's a beautiful map. I like it. I really dig it. Yeah, it's hard for me to pick out maps, guys. It's really hard for me to do that. Yeah, I think it's based from, uh, I think it's based in that area, Sphinx. Uh, I think if I read it right. Pig farm flashback from RDR2. <laughs> oh, cookies. Yeah, the reshade, bro. Yeah, that reshade, man. It's it's popping, man. It's It makes the colors pop. That's, and that's what I like because, uh, you know, especially when I'm doing thumbnails, I like for my colors to really pop. Like, you guys saw the thumbnail I made for this one. Uh, how that blue really popped out of that grape harvester. It's its really amazing. So up here, guys, is the farmhouse. It's where we live at. Um, this right here, you guys know I always have these. This is our seeds right here. This is our liquid fertilizer. And this is, oh, I'm sorry. This is our seeds, guys. I'm sorry. That's our seeds. That is our solid fertilizer. And this is our liquid fertilizer. So that's pretty cool. Over here, guys, we got some more John Deere stuff. Uh, here's our cultivator. This is our cedar. This is the cedar for... Uh, did I not get the extension, the extended jugs on this? I think this is a cedar. I'm pretty sure it is. Maybe it's a... Uh, I thought it was a cedar. Anyway, uh, here's one of the John Deere's right here, guys. Uh, this is the 8370 RT. Looks pretty... Mad. Check this out, guys. Watch this. Love that mod. I love it. Look at this thing fire up. I got to show you guys around the farm before we get started. Hey, what's up, Mr. Griffin the Boss? BK Bulls up in the house. Hey, it's no problem, man. Doing a live on GTA. Cool, man. Good deal, man. Yeah, man, I love helping you guys out. But this thing uh, is absolutely amazing. I love this tractor. Look at the lights on that thing, guys. And just uh, look, at the, uh, look at the hazard lights, man. I love it. Got a pretty decent horn. That's the one thing about Farming Simulator that I think they really lacked on as far as putting stuff in was the horns. Um, if anybody knows of any good horn mods, uh, <clears throat> cookies, let me know because I need to get a horn mod in my game. Hey, what's up, Matthew? Matthew skied up in the house. What is up, man? What is going on, brother? Hey, what's up, Mama? You know what? Just made my mom a moderator. And 
Uh, Matthew, I'll go ahead and make you a moderator too. Matthew Skeed, you are now a moderator. All right. What's up, Mama? Mama's in the house. I hope you're having a good night at work. Mama's actually at work right now. Uh, watching uh, from work. Watching from work. I love you, Mama. I hope that you're having a good night. Uh, so, guys, we looked at that. Over here, we've got some more. This is our John Deere. Um, this is our John Deere front loader 7310R right here. This is our front loader pieces. Uh, over here is our big John Deere, guys. This is the 8RX series right here. And... Uh, it's pretty amazing. I, I really I really dig it. Look at the lights on this guy that put the spotlights on it. Look at that, man. Wow. And look at the look at the beacons on this guys. Look at the beacons on that one. Isn't that cool? But yeah, it's pretty cool, guys. Pretty like I got I got a lot of good stuff on this farm. I've been working on it for like I said for 3 days. Um what else can I show you guys? Uh this is the uh Start the John Deere right here, our front loader. There you go, guys. There's the lights. Feel like I'm doing a GT5 showcase with all these lights. But it looks pretty cool, though, guys. I, I really dig it, man. Yeah, I like to sit back a little bit. But it's pretty cool, guys. I'm really digging the new farm. I'm really digging the new map. It looks really awesome. Uh, oh, the John Deere Gator didn't show you guys that. I actually put the um, I actually put the fertilizer on the back of this, uh, which is really cool. And we'll actually drive this over to where we're gonna be starting our farming at. So let's drive on up to the uh, right here, guys. I'm gonna show you guys something. This is a cultivator, guys. So look at the size of this cultivator. Now look, this cultivator was so big, guys. I cannot put it in any of my buildings. It would not go. It would. It just. It just would not fit in the buildings. Look at the size of this thing. That is a beast cultivator. Um, I believe it is 23 meters in width. Um, I'm sorry, length. Length. Uh, no, no, no. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's width. Uh, long ways. Uh, this is our cultivator, guys. <laughs> One of them. Let's head on up to the. Uh, let's head on up to the other part of the farm here. I think that's pretty much it. The rest of this up here, guys, is like uh, decorative farm buildings and all that, but it's a pretty big farm. It is a pretty good size. That's the good thing about this John Deere, man. You can take them anywhere. Yeah, see, I didn't even know this. I didn't even realize that this was up here, guys. I mean, I knew it was here, but th can anybody tell me what this is? Is this like a, this is the farm stable. I mean, the. The horse stable, right? This is where the horses go, huh? Wow, nice. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. I am really digging it, guys. Let's uh, let's find out for sure here. Uh, where do we go? That's not it. It's over here. Oh, no, this is sheep. This is a sheep husbandry. My bad. No, 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 no. We beat our DR2 game row. I just haven't done the epilogue yet, but we beat the final story mode. Um, but I will go put back and play the epilogue sometime. How many mods I got? Cookies? I'm not really sure. <laughs> I don't have as many as you. I think you. What do you have? Like 185? You have like 100. You have like 200 mods in your game, don't you? You have a lot of mods. Yeah, this is where the wool comes out. Uh, so I don't really mess with sheep too much, guys, only because it is a bit of a pain. Um. So I don't really know about doing sheep, um, but here's another big area up here, guys. Uh, now the cultivator might fit in that building right there. I don't know. We'll just have to see. All right, guys, let's get on down here. Uh, we have seen the farm. We have got a field, guys, a farm full of harvesting and cultivating and all kinds of goodies, guys, ready to go. Does it reset you every time you get in here? Okay, no, it doesn't. All right, guys, let's now keep in mind, ladies and gentlemen, I have never done grape harvesting. This is the very first time you guys are seeing this for the first time on CJ Farms grape harvesting. I've never done it, guys. So if I if I mess up, you can laugh all you want because, uh, oh, my gosh, 
486 mods exactly. That is insane, Cookies. That is insane. That is crazy, man. 486 mods. Wow. That is insane. There's my boy Hero. What's up, Hero Plays? What is up, my dude? He said Game Rose in denial about the... Are y'all talking about the... Uh, oh, yeah, you're talking about Red Dead. Well, I'm talking about, like, the main story campaign, like, with Arthur Morgan. Like, we finished that part. That's what I'm referring to with Arthur Morgan. We finished that. But I have not done the epilogue, but I am going to do it. <laughs> Guys, go ahead and fire this up. Now, from what I've watched... From what I have watched, the way you do this... Let me get my menu up here real quick because I have not used this machine yet. From what I've watched, you got to drive up here. You have to turn it on. And then you start harvesting. Uh, what's going on? Why is it not harvesting my grapes? Wait a minute. Let me do it like this, guys. Let me hire a worker and see how they do it. What did I do wrong? Okay, let, let go. I, I hate it when I do that. Well, wait, why is it not letting me do it, but it's letting the worker do it? The machine's unfolded, right? Why is it not letting me do it? <clears throat> that doesn't make a lot of sense. The worker can do it, but it will not let me do it. Okay, hold up. Let's. That's folded. Right? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, let's lower it. That would probably help a lot. There we go. God, I'm such an idiot. <laughs> but look, guys, check it out, man. And if you guys watch. You can see the the grapes going into the sides of the harvester right there. Check it out. We're going to have to harvest a lot of grapes, guys. Look at them filling up. That's pretty cool right there. That is pretty cool. That is pretty lit. What do you guys think, man? What do you guys think? I think it's pretty cool, man. I should have done a thumbnail just like that and then, you know, exit it without saving. That way it wouldn't have, you know, saved the progress. That would have been cool. I should have done I should have done that. Why didn't I think of that? Like right there, you know what I'm saying? That would have been a great thumbnail right there. But the one I picked was good, so I guess it was. All right, guys, we got one row done. One row is done. Yeah, it's going to take a while to fill this up. So, and we have got a big vineyard guys we have a big big vineyard I can give you guys a sneak peek of what we're doing the other farm if you guys want let me know I'll give you you know the bees I'll give you guys a sneak peek there we go but it's pretty cool the other farm I have is really it's it's bigger than this one it's bigger than this one guys believe it or not the other farm I have for content is much bigger than this one. Yeah, this is pretty cool, guys. I'm digging the grape bars. We're going to put a worker on it and let him go on and get on with that. All right, guys. So uh, I guess what we'll do, this is our trailer to put our, our grapes in right here. Um, the DRL for 140 and I'll show you guys where to get this stuff out you go into your store um, Go to harvesters and if you go over You will find There's your grape harvester right there guys. There it is. There's not much you can do to it I mean you can adjust the tires from standard to wide. I kept them standard um, The engine setup you can go up to 182 horsepower, which I did that uh, But that's pretty much all you can do to it now the trailer itself it's going to be under trailers, and I feel like I'm doing a showcase. And right there is your DRL 140N right there, guys, for your grapes. 
this is going to hold your graves right here. So, pretty cool stuff, though, guys. Uh, oh, you don't play uh, FS19 Hero? You should, man. You should. You should. So, guys, here is a sneak peek of what we're doing uh, with the global company. Right there is your sneak peek, guys. There it is. Uh, with what we're doing on the content uh, farm right there where I make content at. This is the bucket uh, that is part of what I'm doing. And I really don't want to give it away. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to give it away. I feel like I already have. Uh, what's What are you guys talking about? What's going on? Oh, Sphinx wanted me to go into first person in that. Sorry about that, Sphinx. Let me let me find out where he is here. Uh, and I'll be glad to do that for you, man. Let me hop back into the harvester. That's what it looks like in first person, Sphinx. Right there, man. i give you a better view because when you get into it, it's default like that. But with that cab view mod... You can you can pull it you can adjust it back. and I have this mod too guys where you when you look out the side of the window it actually allows you to peek out the side of the window right you can adjust it like this you can bring it out you can take it back you can, I mean back uh, forward you can take it back it's a pretty cool mod I dig it but there's your first person right there to me in my opinion those little things right there um, on the right here guys you see my mouse cursor. It looks like, that looks like a stream deck to me. That's what that reminds me of. So, but yeah, guys, this is really cool, man. Uh-oh, is he full? Is he full? He got a full harvester, don't he? Yep, he got a full harvester. Okay, so we're going to have to relieve him. Oh, look at this. Look at this, man. So, we are going to have to, it's going to be hard to remember where we left off. He missed all kinds of grapes over here. He missed all kinds of graves. All right, guys, we're going to pull this out. And I had to, I never really looked at how to empty this thing. So I'm assuming it does it right there from the back. So let's hop out of that. Let's go get our tractor. Because our tractor will move much faster than that uh, harvester wheel. So we're going to jump in here. And we're going to go over and empty out our graves, guys. Do you, Drake? Oh, I already know what you got, Drake. You got some Reese's Cups, huh? <laughs> All right, so I'm assuming that we have to back under this. That's what I'm assuming. Oh, right, let's get forward a little bit. And let's back under this real easy like. I don't want to... There we go. Oh, looky there. Check that out, guys. What about that? That is super cool, man. The thing is, where do we put them once we get a trailer full? I did not, I did not think to look that up. <laughs> All right, guys, get back in here. Uh, how do we let the, uh, how do we let those back down? Um, let's see, um, oh, pipe in, pipe in, we gotta, we gotta pipe in. Yeah, well, he, he should have started right here because he missed a whole row of graves, man. Uh, is it, da is the, is the harvester down? Yeah, it is down. There we go. All right, let's get him on that. All right, there we go. All right, guys, I gotta, I, I gotta think of where. Does anybody know where the grapes go? I'm not too sure where the grapes go, but guys, check out them grapes, man. Check it out. Look at, look at that. Look at that. It's like a big bunch of mush, don't it? You know, back in the old days, they'd put grapes into a, into like a little trough type thing. And everybody would get in there barefoot and smash them down. That's how they made great wine back in the old days. I think this might go into my uh, silo. I'm not sure. 
because I expanded my silo, so it should go into that. But I hope you guys are enjoying the stream, man. First like go, guys. We're going to go for 30 likes tonight uh, on the stream. I appreciate everybody showing up, man. I really appreciate you guys being over here. I was not expecting even 16 people. I'll be honest, I wasn't. But I appreciate you guys being here nonetheless. I really do. Global company should have a site. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Sphinx. Uh, well, uh, grape harvesting is not part of global company, though, I don't think. But we can do this, though. We can go over to silos, and we can look to see if maybe... Uh, yeah, those are not going to take grapes. I think you just pretty much have to sell them. Oh, guys, we have fruit trees as well now. We have an apple tree, cherry trees, plum, pear trees. Man, it's really cool. Um, yeah, I don't... I'm not too sure where to unload these at. I've got to... Can you attach? Oh, you know what? We can buy another one. I believe we can buy another one. Um, it'd be easier, easier to use my mouse. Uh... We can buy another one, I believe, because I believe it has a trailer hitch on the back of it. Uh, let's see. Yes, I put a hitch on the back of it, I believe. Yeah, I did. So we can actually buy another one. We'll allow this one to dump from the left as well. Um, and we will purchase this. But before we do that, before we do that, uh, I'm going to hop out real quick. And we are going to mark a spot right here all right we're gonna mark our spot right there for the store delivery mod trailer hitch and when you exit back out there's your trailer love that store delivery mod man i use it so much i use it so much guys i mean i really do i use it so much all right guys so we're gonna have to pull two trailers here let's go ahead and hook up to the other one Oh, that, that was too sharp. That was too sharp. There we go, baby. So you can actually hook up as many trailers as you want, right? Did I put a hitch on that one? I did, like a good boy. <laughs> All right, so what we'll do is we'll just go back over to where the harvesting is taking place. Man, look at the first person in that, guys. Uh, and I love that you can adjust it. I just think that's so cool with that that mod, man. It's so awesome. He's full again. He's ready for another drop, man. We're going to go around this way. All right. This is going to be our spot right here. All right. Let's go grab our harvester. Where's he at? I got to jump. It's like... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, I, I thought he was full. Maybe he's not. Okay, so we'll leave the tractor sitting right there. Um, let's see about where he's at. Oh, he is full. Yeah, he is. So we're going to relieve him. We're going to bring it out here. And we're just going to try to back up to the trailer um, like this, I, I, I guess. I don't know how good that would work, but this is what we're going to have to do. Um, put those. Oh, will it not let you pipe down? Wait a minute, it won't let you pipe down? Yeah, it will not let you pipe down when it's full of grapes. I was going to try to pipe down and uh, squeeze there. So we're going to put the harvester like right here. I'm about to pull it up into this part. But it doesn't matter here because we've already harvested this. So we'll pull it like right there. I'm going to hop out. Alright guys, and we're going to pull that first hero right up under here. Ugh. Don't hit the harvester. See, that's what that... Man, that's what that mod is good for. Now, this is going to be rough backing up two trailers. It's going to be rough, man. I don't, I don't back up two trailers like that too often. I like how they made it kind of transparent there where you're... Oh, wow. Look at that. It's it's filling it up quick. All right. Next trailer. All 
It is filling. They're not dumping on the ground, right? Okay, good. They are not dumping on the ground. That is a good. Did I get it? Is it up under there good enough or what? Did I get them all? I got them all. All right. So let's pipe back in. How do I? No, not that, bro. Not that. No, not that. Bro, get get off of the... There you go. Okay. Now, I don't want you going that way. I want you to go back over this way and finish what you started. Man, look at that first person, guys. That is amazing. Oh, oh. Is this where he left off right over here, right? Didn't he leave off, like, right here at the end or something? It was, like, right over... Man, it's so hard to tell where they leave off. You know what I'm saying? Look, he missed a whole row of grapes again. Man, this punk. All right, you're fired. All right, let's go ahead, and we're going to start from this end right here, guys. Man, this thing gets dirty quick. I got that real dirt color installed, too, guys, so it makes it a I got You know, the mods that I have installed is straight up for realism. It's, it's straight up to make the game more realistic. Which is the, I mean, I got some fun mods installed too, don't get me wrong. You know, but most of the mods that I have installed are for um, realism alone. What are you guys talking about? What's, let me, hang on guys, let me, let me catch up the chat here real quick. Let me catch up the chat. What are you guys talking about? Flying planes that I've been anticipating this live stream for over a month. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are enjoying it, man. I really, I'm really thankful you guys are here, man. Oh, Matthew, me too. I've had that Reese's ice cream. It is absolutely, man. It's so good it'll make your tongue go back and smack the back of your brains. That's how good it is. It'll make your tongue go right back and slap your brain, man. It is good like that. Hey, 87, Lee 87, what's going on, guys? Welcome, fellow farmers. Welcome. Let me get my jacket off, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm a bit toasty. All right, now we have got to figure out. Let me, let me, let me Google something real quick, guys, and figure out where the grapes go. Um, I'm sorry I do this in the middle of a live stream, but I, you know, I want to figure out where the proper place is to put them at. Um. So, I'll just do Google. I'll put, where do I put my grapes? FS19. Uh, let's see. Wine grape industry. Can anybody answer me what the most profitable crop and the most profitable crop in FS19 is? In farming in general, even in real life. Can anybody tell me what crop pays the most? I bet Sphinx can answer that. <laughs> Matthew. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but that's how good it is, man. It it is delicious though, man. I know exactly what you're talking about. It's it's absolutely delicious. Yeah, I should have planted my grapes a little further apart instead of so close. You're supposed to put them in sections. Uh not like that. But I'll show you guys how I actually planted my grapes. I'll show you how I did it. I didn't do it by a harvester. I didn't do it by the by the planter. I'll show you guys how I did it. There's a mod. There's a mod that a lot of content creators use for FS19 that a lot of people don't know about. Uh, no, it's not a red to uh, red to guru Benny evil within guru Sphinx FS19. Yeah. So what did, did Sphinx answer? Did he answer the question? 
Yeah, it's not wheat. Wheat does pay a lot, but wheat is not the number one highest paid crop. It is not. That's it. That's it. Paul G got it right. It is corn. Corn is the highest paid crop in FS19 and in real life, corn is the highest paid crop. If you're going to harvest anything on your farm and you want to make money doing it, plant corn and harvest it. And be sure you're doing three states of fertilizer. Uh, some will say four states or two states. I always do three states. Uh, four seems to be a little too much. Three for me seems to be perfect. It makes my corn and my wheat golden brown. So when it's coming out like that, yeah, it is. Yeah, Sphinx, corn is the highest paid crop. It really, really is. Yeah. Um, I don't know what's second to that. I think wheat is second to that. Uh, I'm not sure where cotton falls in. I got the I got the John Deere DLC cotton uh, the John Deere cotton DLC I got that one uh, it's I haven't used it yet but cotton harvesting cotton takes a lot of time it takes a lot of time um, I'm really trying to f figure out where to plant I mean where to drop these grapes at guys um, let's see I know how to plant them I know how to harvest them I just need to know where to drop them. Um, let me, let me put it like this. Where do I sell my grapes? FS 19. There we go. I would have to watch a video. I don't really want to do that. Um, Yeah, I don't know, guys, where I put these grapes at. I'm going to look on the map real quick. We're just going to look on the map, guys. And I'm going to see if there's a place to drop them. Because Blue Mountain Valley uh, and a Shia map is the two maps that they have for uh, grapes. Let me look in the global company um, section right here and see if maybe... Yeah, there's nothing in here. That's not for grapes. But guys, look at these warehouses. Check this out for Global Company. They are so awesome, man. Dude, why does my field look like that? Look, guys. It's got a strip of grass through it. <laughs> I bet you I did that and didn't realize it. Look. <laughs> hey, it looks cool, though. Put a gravel driveway through there, man. Oh, guys, I got this one mod where you can actually build a house um, from, like, the foundation all the way up. And I think I might do that when we start off uh, content on the CJ Farms channel. I think I might do that. So we could put that building like right in here. But you would have to, you know, lower it and level it. And it would probably have to be turned to level it out. It's the best place. But, well, you can't put it there. That's the cow husbandry. But you, you, you guys get what I'm saying. Um, but, you know, somewhere like up in here, if you put it here, you would have to, you know, level it out and all that. Um, but these warehouses are supposed to be really, really good, really good stuff. I don't know. Um, man, does anybody know where to drop the grapes at? They are, Sphinx, they are. That's part of Global Company, man. You guys ever seen these lights right here? These are pretty awesome, these lights. It's these, uh, big lights right here. And you can put them on your farm, wherever you want. Like, you can put one right, like, right here. You guys should see how bright they are. Oh, my gosh. But I could put one, uh, say, like, uh, you know, right over here. Put it, like, right there. Shine it towards the farm. Uh, at nighttime, they just automatically come on. They got some where you can... They're man that's the manual one, actually. A manual one, and they have automatic. The manual ones, you turn on and off by yourself. The automatics come on at nighttime, go off during the day. So, that's actually pretty cool. Where is my... Well, is he full again, man? Is he full again? Because I don't have much room left. I can't... I don't want to buy no more trailers than what I've bought. You know what I'm saying? I want to be like hauling like 15 trailers behind me. Anyway, guys, get back into this. I don't mean to keep holding you guys up on this. Man, I love fending tractors, guys. I absolutely love them. All right, let's hop out. And yes, guys, I do have a, a player speed mob where you can go really fast across the farm. Yeah. I love it, man. I love it. <laughs> I love the player speed mod. It helps so much. It helps so much. 
All right, so he was not full. What happened? What's he doing, bro? Why did he stop like that? Weird. Look, the, the, the vehicle already needs to be repaired somewhat. Y'all see that? All right, let's hop out. All right, so while he's doing that, I say we go... Um, let's go jump in the gator. Let's go jump in the gator. And we are going to go over to this field. And we're fixing to break out a harvester, guys. We're going to break out a harvester. I'm pretty sure this is either wheat or barley right here. This is barley. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to give this a coat of fertilizer before we harvest it. And then we'll let it grow a little bit more. Which it's ready to harvest, but... Guys, check out this fertilizer on the John Deere. It's actually pretty cool. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Check it out. Is that not cool? Like, how convenient is that? What I mainly use this uh, fertilizer for is, like, I'll fertilize my grass. I'll fertilize my grass. I'll fertilize the field. Uh, you know, small areas. I don't normally do this. I will show you the, uh, oh, my gosh, did I get a fertilizer for this? farm I might have forgotten guys I might have forgotten to do that all right so see that's what that mod is good for man is like that you know what I'm saying it allows you to actually peek out the window and what's even cooler about it is the fact that you can adjust it man like this like see that right there that seems about right to me right there. Let's bring it in just a little bit. It's pretty cool though, right guys? It's pretty cool. Pretty cool stuff. Yeah, that's what I use it for, small stuff. Yeah, it is. Do you know, do you know about that mod, Sphinx? It's actually a cool mod, man. It's called Player Speed. It's called the Player Speed mod. Uh, let's actually fold this up and we're gonna go and I Man, did I not buy a fertilizer for our farm guys? Did I for, did I really forget to do that? Let's head on down this way. I Also have this mod too guys when your when your vehicle gets dirty It's called instant wash Cleans your vehicle for you <laughs> Oh man that's funny right there. I don't care who you are. And I have a speed mod too, guys. That speeds up the time 9,000 times. What's this? 600, 1,200, 1,800, 3,000, 6,000, 9,000. Now watch this, guys. Watch the time. How fast it goes. We can go through a couple days in just a few minutes. See that? But the thing about it is when you speed your time up, it requires uh we're gonna stop right there it requires uh it pays your help more money because the you know the it's calculating their time is work so that's the only downside of that mod Right, yes, yeah, Sphinx. Yeah, the, the gator is good for a lot of multi-purpose stuff like that. It really is. You love using the power? I do too, Lee. I do too, man. I really do. Let me catch up the chat here real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Let me catch up the chat. Hey, Jesus Carrillo up in the house, or Jesus. Yep, yeah, it is, yeah. That's right, guys. The highest paid crop is the corn, man. It's, uh... Alright, so... Let's pull the gator back over here. We're gonna park it here real quick. I meant to buy another tractor and actually put it in here and I didn't do it. I don't think I have a fertilizer, guys. I, I think I, um... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I don't think I bought a fertilizer for the farm, guys and girls. I'm gonna go through all my tractors here and double check. But I don't think... Oh, guys, we have harvest. We have wood harvesting equipment now. We have that. That right there uh, chops uh, the tree trunks. 
I don't even think I bought my headers for my... Wait a minute, did I buy my headers for my for my harvesters? I don't know if I did or not. Okay, there's our other check. Yeah, guys, we did not get a fertilizer. We did not. But I know which one I'm going to get. I know which one I'm going to get. So, let's go down here. And we're going to need a big area for this, guys. We're going to need a big area to spawn this. Okay, his, his tank is nearly full. Let's go ahead and mark it right there. We are going to go over to... Um, I usually shop by brand, guys. I don't do it in the store. Here we go, crop protection. That's what we want right there. So we want to go over here to John Deere. Because if you find those, they're, they're normally right next to the guys. Look at all the John Deere stuff I have installed. I have so much John Deere stuff. What is, I want to see what that one thing was that I have. I think it's a cedar. Uh, okay, this is what I need right here. I need to get this. It's a 120-foot boom, guys. Look at that. We want the direct injection. We want the load command system. So, all right. 36 meters, guys. 120 foot. We're going to have to stock up on some money here real quick, guys. I have a mod for that, too. <laughs> yeah, let me let me grab a million real quick here, guys. Hang on. There we go. <laughs> I think I have a mod for everything like that. It makes it easier on the content creators, man. It, it truly, truly does. It makes it easier for us, man. Uh, I have not messed with precision farming yet, Sphinx. Uh, I'm going to. I am going to. I should do it while I'm on here. I should do it while I'm on here. Is it really cool? I've heard a lot of good things about it, man. That's right, Sphinx. Control Alt Zero. That's right. That is absolutely correct. Let's get those Michelin tire. Oh no, no. Let's get the Midas. Those are those are much bigger. I like those. I like those. Yeah. Let's get those. Um, okay. Uh, we want. Yeah, I want fenders. I do. Beacon lights. Beacon light. Well, it's beacon light, not lights. It's just one beacon light. So, uh, And we want this to be fertilizer number one. Alright. Now, let's hop in. The inside of this thing, guys. How about that? Man. The way they make stuff is just mind-blowing, man. It's mind blowing. Hey, what's up, Mama? Yeah, we're uh, we're hanging out here playing some farm sim, Mama. I ate, I ate your I ate your food. It was really good. My mom fixed. Uh, man, my mom's a good cook. She fixed pork chops tonight. She fixed uh, fried pork chops with. Um, oh, don't get over too far. She fixed fried pork chops with peas and corn mixed together and then she made some cabbage and it was so good I ate the last of the uh, I had a big old pile of cabbage and but I ate the last of the peas and corn in a pork chop man it was so delicious God it was good all right guys so we're gonna have to go fill this tool up all right let's go fill the tool and we're gonna do some for like guys where do you see this thing open up if you guys have never seen this thing one of these things open up, it is absolutely amazing how far out it goes. But this is going to be liquid fertilizer. Um, can anybody tell me what these are for right here? I mean, it looks like a fertile, a water and a seed to a fertilizer tank. Is that what that is? Let me, let me pull up next to it and see. Because if that's what that is, then I don't need them other... Uh, I don't need those other things. Oh, it is. Look at there. It is, it is a fertilizer tank. I did not know that. And that's water right there. So I need to get rid of that other fertilizer uh, tank I have. But we got full fertilizer right here, man. Nitrogen liquid fertilizer. Now, there's, the, there's part of the uh, precision farming right there. Herbicide and fertilizer. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, that's awesome, man. Thank you, Sphinx. I appreciate that. 
Yeah, my mom had it. My mom had it pretty bad, man. She uh, got it out of the blue like I did, and uh, man, it that stomach bug was something awful, man. It was something awful. It is not fun to be sick. I just don't like being sick because I hate laying still. I hate laying still not doing anything. I don't like that. So we reset it. That's what it looks like when you reset it when you go back. Look at that, man. What's it look like when you look out the window in this thing? That's pretty lit. That is litty titty. All right, let's go ahead and open this thing up, guys. Check. 120 feet, guys. 120 feet. Right? Oh, get it around there real quick. Look at this fertilizer, guys. Now, what do we got right here? This is barley as well. Look at that fertilizer, guys. Look at that. Now, we're going to smack the edge of this field over here. We're going to get it. Ooh, we need to pull over just a little bit. Just a bit. Need to pull over just a bit. And, oh yeah, I forgot this one. You can lower on each side. <clears throat> this one's actually really cool. Let's take that one down. Uh, and this one we'll leave about right there. That one we can bring up a little bit. Man, it's so hard to adjust those things. Turn it on. And here we go, guys. And while you're driving, you can adjust them if need be. See that? You can adjust them if need be. It's pretty cool. Man, that thing scooch too. Look at that. I'm just going to go on across to do everything. Look at that, guys. That thing scoots across there, man. <laughs> now, you know what they say, man. Nothing runs like a deer. Nothing runs like a deer. Look at man. That, look at that, man. Two birds and one stone, ladies and gentlemen. Two birds and one stone. Now, we'll turn around. I hope I don't have to, um, I hope I don't have to, you know, oh, you know what? That's a long field. It's going to be easier to do it like this. Look at the smoke going out of that pipe. That is pretty cool, guys, that you can lower the things. That's so cool. We're just going to take them all the way down. And we got a, we got plenty of room to pull over here. There we go, guys. There it goes. We probably need to go check on our grapes. We're going to get a... Wait a minute. Why did he... Fin oh, okay. It doesn't require any more fertilizers. So, let's go ahead and do it ourselves. Then we'll go back over and check on our grapes, guys. That's a good question. Do you play 5M, Paul? I've never asked you that myself. That's a good question, bro. All right, let's go over and check on our grapes. Ah, man. Just about got that right side of the field right there. Man, but what what but what a uh, fertilizer, right, guys? I mean, that thing is so awesome. It's but we got us a fertilizer now, so that's 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 what my I I really thought, guys. I'm sorry, I really thought I bought one. I bought one. Uh, let's grab the. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and take our um, harvester out here. Wait a minute. Okay, never mind, never mind. Why do these still look like they got grapes on them? Are they, like, regenerating? Oh, you know why, guys? My plant growth is on. My, my plant growth is on, guys. That's why they're regenerating. Okay. Let me save the game. Okay, now let me get back out. Yeah, they're regenerating, guys. See that? Because my plant growth is on, and we did that time cycle. But I thought you had to replant stuff like that. Maybe you don't. I think with the vineyard stuff, from what I've seen, I don't think you have to replant that. 
All right, guys, there it goes. There goes our grapes. Now we just got to figure out cookies. Do you know where to drop the grapes at, man? Hey, Jeffrey Gamer's up in the house. What is up, Jeffrey? What is up, brother? Oh, Jeffrey's already on moderator, too. He's already on moderator, too. All right, we need, we need, uh, I'm going to add a new moderator in here. Somebody that I know will be here every time, which I know a lot of you are always in my streams every time. So I'm not trying to single anybody out, but congratulations, Drake. There you go, brother. You made moderator, my man. Drake Sullivan is now a moderator uh, in this chat, and you'll be one in the criminal justice chat as well, bro. I'll set you up over there, man. Yeah, so check this out, guys. It is... Uh, the, what I can't figure out is why can I not pipe back down? Yeah, why can I not pipe back down? Look, and it's actually picking the grapes up like that. Okay, so he's going to have to do all these grapes again. I got my... Jesus Christ. But I will show you guys real quick how I planted these. Let me show you guys real quick, all right? I'm going to show you guys a trick, a little, a little inside trick here from content creators. Stuff that we like to do. Guys, look at the size of these fields. Uh, what do we got here? Oh my god, canola paste so good. They have a mod you can install where you can actually have canola bells, which I think is cool. So, I'm on, we're on field 29, right guys? So I have a thing installed called um, Easy Development Commands, right? Now this helps you do stuff like teleport from field to field, from, uh, from here to there. Uh, I can put wheat on the ground. If I want to put down um, 100,000 pounds of wheat right here in front of me, I can click that check mark. It'll do it. Um, there is uh, the cheat silo. I can go in here and I can put in, say, 1,000 liters of wheat into the silo. Or I can go like this and max it out and hit click. It's going to put 500,000 liters of wheat into my silo for me. That's without having to do it myself. Add bell right here. Um, so this will be put on the ground in front of me as well. I can drop a straw bell right here. Uh, a straw round bell right in front of me. Just keep clicking it. It'll, it'll drop them. Um, right over here, this sets your time of the day. So we can go back, like, say, an hour. I can go like that. Or I can go all the way back to nighttime. Right? See that? Isn't that cool, guys? That's pretty cool, huh? We're going to set it for 8 o'clock. Uh, you can choose the weather. Uh, we are going to make it, um, we are going to make it sunny, which I think it already was anyway. Um, over here in this area right here, uh, this is like, um, see flight, no HUD mode. So you can have it where you have no HUD, you have super strength, wood cutting marker, um, there's your extra time scale, your time scale warning display. Uh, it's, it's a tremendous amount of stuff in here, guys. This is the one I use the most, which I can... That's, this is how I planted the grapes. I'm going to show you guys how I did it. So, we're on field... What field was we on again? 29? We're on field 29. So, what we would do is we would go into the set field ground, right? I'm sorry, set field fruit. And we are going to go to field 29, Okay. And we are going to plant red grape saplings. Now, we can have that in growth state. One, two, three, four, five. You know what I'm saying? So we'll plant it for five. We're going to make the fertilizer state 100% so it's 100% fertilized. And we are going to click the check mark. And all of a sudden, you have a field full of grapes. There it is. That's how that works, guys. That's how it worked. Did I miss you? What did I miss, uh, Drake? Hey, you got it, man. You got it, dude. You got it. What was you doing talking about uh, talking about your Reese cups, man? Is that what you were talking about, Reese cups? <laughs> I'm sure it was. Oh. 
1660 Super for 250. That's what I have. That's what I have, a 1660. But that's how I, that's how it's done right there, guys. That's how I do it, man. That's uh that's exactly how it's done right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I do it. So it's actually pretty cool, man. Now, if I want to get rid of the grapes, I can go back into the field, pull that menu back up, right? And we're going to go back to uh, field 29. Or you can do all. You can do all fields, too. I can do all fields in one fruit type. I can cultivate all fields, whatever I want to do. I can do it from this menu. I can go here. Uh, actually, over here. We would have to go back over here. Uh, this is the set field ground. So 29, we're going to do, you can do cultivator, uh, sowing width sowing plow uh, we're going to do cultivate with 100 percent fertilizer state and bam the field is now clear so there it is guys that's how i do things and sometimes for time's sake i have to do things like that i do now my question is why is this grass not gone what is up with that so you know what we're going to do like this we are just going to go ahead and plant grass on this field um field 20 29 uh, we're gonna do we're gonna do grass. Where is it at? Um, okay, so there's grass. We're gonna do uh, growth state four. Click the check mark, and now we have a field full of grass right there, guys. Now is this this is a separate field, I believe, isn't it? No, this is is this a separate field? Is it? It is. This is seven. This is seven. So, yeah, guys, that's kind of how I do things like that sometimes. And I have to. Hey, what's up, Luna Gaming? What is up, brother? Oh, the chocolate peanut butter. Did you get you? I figured it was about Reese Cups, punk. <laughs> Luna, there's your moderator role, brother. Luna, I'll get with you after the stream, man. I'm so sorry. I was supposed to talk to Luna today uh, on voice chat. And uh, I told him he messaged. I said, remind me. He reminded me, I, I said, remind me 45 minutes, man. 45 minutes, remind me. He reminded me in 45 minutes. I didn't respond until an, after, after, an hour after that. And then I said, okay, man, yeah, give me a few minutes. And I got completely distracted. Like, it's like I told Luna, my ADD gets the best of me sometimes. Like, I, I will say I'm going to do something and just something will catch my attention, man. And I'm just, I'm zoned in, you know. And I'll tell you what it was, man. I was, I got on my farm and was working. I was trying to get it done. So that's what it was, man. It was, it was. I was on my farm, and man, dude, I'm sorry, man. I so I really apologize, man, because I, I, I don't. I mean, I know my ADD gets the best of me, and and I stay pretty busy. But the thing is, man, like I feel bad when I forget important things like that. You know what I'm saying? I really do. I feel bad. Uh, let's check on our. Where's our harvester guy at? Where's he at? Why is he stopping right there? What are, are you full again, bro? Bro, why do you keep stopping, man? My, my dude. You got to work, man, to make money, okay? This is all... Okay, so... We're gonna have to go... Let's, let's relieve him. We are gonna have to go... Uh, let's get a little further up in the vines here, guys. I'll get him like up here and start him off. We're going to start right here. Yeah, see how those grapes regener regenerated, guys? That's funny. All right, there we go. Check it out. Why is he stopping working? Why is he doing that? What's, what's, what's going on? Do I need to restart my game or what? All right, guys. Here's what I'm going to do. Now, this is the good thing about Farming Simulator 19. And I do have a mod in my game, too. Uh, that when I when I save the game and I come back in, I will be in this spot. Like, you know how when you save and then you come back to the game and it puts you back to the default area? The mod I have installed actually puts me back right here. So when I come back to the game, I'm going to quit the game real quick, guys. We're going to come back in uh, so I can restart it. So it'll take me just a minute here, guys. It'll take me just a minute. Trying to do that real fast so you guys can't see the other farm. I hope y'all didn't see the other farm. But if y'all did, I don't mean it's not a big deal. But uh, there we go. So, um, so yeah, uh, 
guys, I'll have some content out tomorrow for CJ Farms as far as videos go. Um, we will be on the new farm tomorrow, not Blue Mountain Valley. This will be our live streaming farm. Uh, but we and I might do some content from this farm as well. I don't know yet. We'll 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 see what happens. Oh, I don't have that mod installed no more. Oh no. Oh man, I thought I had it. I just looked really stupid. I thought I had that installed, man. I really did. All right, let's go over to the vineyard, which is what like isn't it out this way? Yes, yeah, right here. My bad, guys. I thought I had that. I do. There is a mod where it actually allows you when you save your game. You start right back out in that spot. Where is he at? He's right there. All right, so. Now, let's hire a worker now. I think it's going to do the same thing. Okay, yeah. Oh, nope, stop. He's not harvesting any... There's not no grapes in this vine, so let's get him on down here. See, I like to ride back pretty good where I can actually see what's going on, you know what I'm saying? But the next time I plant grapes, guys, I'll do it by hand. Because I don't like it being full like this. And when you do it, you're supposed to do it in sections. Now, check this out, guys. My auto wash, watch this. Bam. Look at that. See that? Some pros and cons right there for you guys. Some pros and cons. All right. Let's go ahead and get him going. Now... Now we should be harvesting without any issues. Okay, I think he's going to be good now. So let's go back out here. Uh, we need to jump back into our... Did anybody... Does anybody know where to drop the grapes at? I have no idea where to put them at. This is Blue Mountain Valley, uh, Drake. It's Blue Mountain Valley, brother. Yeah, Luna, I can do that, man. I can do that, bro. You guys know I have a dedicated server, right? In the CJ Farms Discord, which is linked down below. And in this description, guys, my YouTube brothers and sisters are down there. So in this description, I don't have as much, so I have room for stuff like that. So um, YouTube brothers and sisters are down there, guys. Um, Jeffrey Gamer, Gamer Benny, Gaming with Cookies, Hero Plays, Maddie is Ball, Benzo Effect, Grace Games... Highway Trooper, DJ Go Ham Gaming, uh, MGTB is down there, guys. Game Row, Timmy Luke 017 Gaming, Luna Gaming, Joker Face Gaming, Officer Turbs, aka Tony Cheeseroni. Guys, go show my YouTube brothers and sisters some love. They are linked down there. Um, also, guys, the CJ Farms Discord is down there. If you have not joined it yet, come in there and you automatically get the role as a fellow farmer. You automatically get that. And I'm trying to liven it up in there a little bit. We got members. But just nobody's talking in there. So, not a lot, not a lot anyway. So, I need a multi. Oh, Sphinx. Thank you, bro. My goodness. I was wondering what you're trying to say. I was like, what is he talking about? <laughs> uh, yeah, let me, let me, a multi fruit silo from Global Company. So, but wait a minute. I think I. A multi-fruit silo. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. I think... I think I have that, man. I think that when you... Okay, so let me ask you this, Binks. Um, When you install Global Company, does, does it make all of your silos multi-fruit? Or is that something you have to purchase yourself? Because let me see here. Oh my gosh! I can put them right here, guys. I can put them right here. See, this is one of the reasons why I love these silo displays. Is because... No, guys. I did not cheat on the silos. That's what it comes with. But... Uh, if you add another silo behind this or to the side... It will actually take the capacity up. So we can put our grapes in here, guys. That is... That is litty titty. That is Liddy Titty. So we're going to go bring our grapes over here and drop them off because he is ready for a drop already. Let's jump in our tractor. Whoop! I love doing it like that. I like to jump in and 
going to the tractor. All right, guys, we got us a trailer full of grapes. That one's not really full. Uh, 85%, you know, it's pretty much almost there, so. Whoa, all right, whoa, whoa, we went the wrong way, wrong way. Oh my goodness. Gosh, idiot. All right, let's go. Yeah, I really like the way this farm is set up, guys. It's it's not really, it's kind of compact, but not too bad. Um, and everything is like close together, so it looks really, really cool. But let's go ahead and let's pull these, uh, let's pull these uh, grapes up on the silo here. So we should be able to dump these right off in here. Oh my gosh, we can, guys. We can do it, man. Look at that. Yes, baby. Yes. Nice. Nice, nice. So technically, we really only need one trailer. I mean, guys, look how far that thing tips over. Look at that. I mean, that thing tips way over, man. Look at that. Holy cow. All right, let's bring them. We're going to get this one over a little further than what we did that one. All right, we got a switch. Oh my gosh, is it really going to dump from that side? Okay, so this one dumps from the right, that one dumps from the left. There we go. A little bit more realistic right there. Alright, there we go, guys. And let's see how much grapes that actually... No, 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 slow down. Slow down, bro. Oh my gosh, guys, 23,000, almost 24,000 liters of grapes. There's like one liter shy. All right, let's go up here, uh, and we're going to take this back up. Now, after this, guys, we're going to go grab a harvester, and we're going to... I got to buy my headers. I didn't buy my headers, guys. I totally forgot. I was so unprepared. I'm so unprofessional. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, guys, we're going to pull this tractor right over in here. And let's grab our harvester. All right, here we go. But guys, there's literally like a one second delay, one and a half second delay from what I'm saying and what you guys are actually hearing and seeing and all that. It's actually really cool. We're going to go ahead and drop off in that back trailer right there, guys. That is so cool, man. That is so cool. I love it. Hey, hey what's up, Jim Yeah, drag, that's my favorite word to use, Liddy Titty. I actually got that from my teenager, my teenage daughter. Um, she... Uh, she says that a lot. She'll say Liddy Titty. She'll be 17 uh, the 30th of this month. Um, bro, how do I how do I close it back, man? Like it's not letting me. It's not letting me uh, pipe back in. It's not letting me do it at all. Weird. It's very weird because, I mean. Yeah, it will not let me pipe back in, man. That is so weird. Hmm. That's really weird. All right, we're going to start. We're going to do this row right here. All right, let me relieve the worker since it's going back down. We're going to do some harvesting ourselves. Oh, oh, there's no grapes on that row. Got to get this row right here, man. Oh, my God. I didn't turn my harvester on. <laughs> Jeez. Get it together, CJ. Get it together, man. I always forget to lower. There's always something I forget. Like my harvesters, I'm really bad. Oh my gosh, what is it doing? Okay, let's try this one more time. 
There we go. So my harvesters, when I'm using like my weed harvesters and all that, my grain harvesters, I'm so bad about forgetting to open the pot, the top of them up. I'm so bad about it. Guys, it's so cool. Harvesting a vineyard, guys. Harvesting a vineyard. Hey, appreciate that, Luna. I appreciate that, bro. Yeah, I have a dedicated Discord, man. Uh, if you'll get with cookies, Luna, he can get you all the mods uh, for the Discord. And I plan on coming in there and doing some recording. I need to do that this week. I was supposed to do it like two weeks ago. Uh, I mean, last week, and I didn't do it. But... If you want to go in there and link up, man, uh, we'll do some recording together, bro. And I mean, Jeffrey's supposed to be doing a cameo in there as well. So I'm down to farm, guys. I'm down to farm in there. Sphinx, you want to you wanna come in there too? That's what I did. I, I did that, Sphinx. I was pressing O and it would not let me, uh, it would not let me fold it up, man. Why do these, all these vines look regenerated, bro? All right, let's get a worker on that. And let's go grab a harvester. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah, this is what I forget to do, guys. I will always forget to unfold my harvester. I don't know why, but I do. This is harvester number two. So we're gonna have to pull down here, guys, to get us a um, to get our header, because I'm I am getting a good size uh, header for our wheat, and we got to buy our bell or two. So we'll buy some stuff while we're here too, guys. But hey, I appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Thank you all so much. Thirty likes is the first like go, so smash that like button, guys, if you haven't already for me. I'd greatly appreciate it. I really, really will. What do we got over here? Is this barley too? I think this is all a lot of barley. That's soybean, but it's ready to harvest. All right, let's, uh, I don't know why I got it and pulled it like two inches forward and then shut it off. All right, let's mark spot right here. And let's go ahead and get us a header. Here we go. We want the John Deere header, the big John Deere header. Where is it at? Uh, okay, so 9.7 meters. Um, 13 meters. That's a cool one. That's a cool one right there. It does wheat, barley, soybean, canola, and... Um, uh, what is that right there? Um, what is that Sphinx on the end? I can't think of, I can't remember the name of that. Little icon. It's wheat, barley, uh, soybean, canola, and maybe that's soybean, and this is something else. Uh, man, brain farts. I'm getting old, guys. I'm getting old. That's 10 meters. Um, I'm good with that, Luna. I'm good with that. Doing some uh, fellow farming together. I'm cool with that, man, on a live stream. Yeah. We could do like a live stream during the day. That would be cool. That would be awesome. I'm, I'm down. I'm down, bro. I'm down for Okay, 13. Thirteen meters for that one. Let's go ahead and uh, hook this bad boy up. Oh my god, I went on the wrong side of it like an idiot. Jesus. I should have turned my guy around the other way to do it like that. I have the cab suspension mod installed too, guys. So that's why it's got that realistic bounce in there. I think it's really cool. I love the cab suspension mod. I love it. Alright, and hook up. And let's go ahead and adjust those. Get them ready to go. There we go. All right, guys, so we're going to go up here, and we're going to start our wheat first. And we do want a straw swath. I think, I think that straw swath enabled right there. Um, let me see. No, it is down. 
It is down. That is straw swath enabled right there. Yeah. That is straw swath enabled. No hands, guys. No hands. I'm going to use my keyboard for a minute. I like going to cruise control and just using my thumbstick, you know, to drive. I use my thumbstick to drive. That's the only thing I don't. I wish they had a harvester that went faster than what it does. Um, but, you know, you can always speed them up in the XML files. Have a harvester that does like 100 miles an hour and get your wheat wiped out in a minute. <laughs> I should do that. Pull some DJ Goham gaming. All right, so we are going to want to harvest this way. Let's get up there. Ooh, come on. And come on, get it right, man. Get it right. Get it. Bro, come on. See? What I tell you, guys, I forgot to unfold it. What I tell you. I do it every time, man. I do it every time. All right, guys. So this is going to be a lot of bells to pick up. A lot of bells. But look at that thing smoking, bro. That harvest coming in there. Hot. Litty titty. All right, guys. Let's get a worker on that. And uh, we got plenty of money right now. 815000 So... We're going to go ahead and go grab another harvester. We're going to take this back because we don't necessarily need it right now. We're going to take it back and park it. Let's go ahead and insta-wash it. <laughs> I love the sound of it. Got a pretty decent horn. Oh, is my boy fool out there? Is my dude fool? Where is he at? He's right there. He's not fool. What is... Why does he keep stopping? Like, why? You know what? Let's get him up further towards the vineyard. Like, I'm going to take him up to the other end of the field, guys, and get him started. Or maybe, that, maybe that'll fix the issue. Okay, Sphinx. We'll do it, man. Uh, you're part of the uh, dedicated server, right, Sphinx? Don't, don't you go in on a regular basis or something? I thought you did, man. thinks that it's his dream to, to farm with me. That's that. See, that's awesome right there, man. That right there, that is one of the many reasons why I do what I do, man, and why I could never stop. I have so many little people that watch me, man. It's just, it's, it's really amazing. Right, let's go ahead and get this guy going on this, and let's jump back to our fertilizer. Wee! There we go. <laughs> By the time I jump in, I've got my engine started button on and my cruise control set. I'm ready to go. This thing is no joke in first person, man. I went the wrong way, guys. I went the wrong way. I hope I don't hit nothing behind me. Mirrors, mirrors. Oh, we're going up on a hill. I don't like that. Uh, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? Jeez, I cannot farm today, man. All right, so we're going to park this. Um, can we park it in there? Will it fit? Ooh, it just does. It just does fit in there. But that's a good place for it. All right. That's cool with me. That works. All right, perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect. All right, so we want to get our other harvester, um, which is down here. Whoa, man, whoa. Guys, I'm so sorry. I cannot I cannot farm today. I cannot farm. Man, like, CJ Farm's gone wrong, you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, see, that's too far. That's too far for me. I can't be back to that far enough to where I'm going to see the top of the seat. You know what I'm saying? I'll go like, I'll go like right there and that's it. But I don't want to like see this in front of my face. That's a little unrealistic to me in my opinion, so. But that's just me. Alright, guys. And this is Green Star Ready, so that means them little buildings we got in here, guys. Like, uh, where's it? Where's them little buildings at? Where are they at? Where are them little buildings? Where are they? I think it's under here, and it's under miscellaneous. Yeah. These right here make your AI, your, your AI workers better. So it makes them... Uh, this station provides your vehicles with a better GPS signal. This helps your AI drivers to drive more precise and do their work faster. Really cool, right, guys? Really cool. So it's actually good to have one of these, which it actually comes with the uh, GPS marker on it. It's a garage as well, and this as well. And you can have, uh, you know, you can have either one. Like I can set this. I can pretty much set this right here, right, guys? Pretty much set this right here. Place it uh, over here, and let a GPS worker. Let I'm a GPS. Worker. Let my worker um, go over there and start harvesting the field. And it will uh, maximize its performance. So it's actually pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. Yeah, I'm really enjoying this farming, guys. I'm really enjoying it. Hey, what's up, the gaming brothers up in the house? James and John. What is up, guys? Thank you for showing up. Appreciate you guys being here. Hey, I don't know why my alert box didn't go off. Luna, you subscribed to the channel. Didn't even tell me, bro. I'm so sorry, man. Didn't even tell me. I have my alert box on in here. Sorry about that, man. But thank you for subscribing, Luna. Appreciate that, brother. Thank you, man. Um, did we already mark it? We did. Uh, okay, so we need to get another header. Uh, we're going to get the same one. We need to get a corn header. I didn't see any corn, though. Uh, 13. Yep. All right, there we go. Hey, what's up, Lauren? What is up? Helper H has nearly a full grain tank. All righty. All right, guys. After this, we're going to have to buy a beller uh, ooh, as well. Get that. Ooh, man. All right, guys. Cruising back up to... Uh, I think we're going to get two of these harvesters on one field. Um... I don't know, man. Uh, sometimes that that can go very wrong because they'll collide. So is this two separate fields right here? Is that what that is? Let's see. Field 7. This is field 7. Wait a minute. Is it just the way I'm looking at it? Is it the texture? Oh, okay. I, I see what it is. I'm an idiot. So, yeah, this is a totally different field right here, guys. Um, man, guys, look at this field over here. Holy cow. What a farm, guys. What a farm. I love it. I love it so much. What do we got over here? This is canola. We are going to... Yeah, we'll harvest the canola. We'll harvest the canola. And we got to get us a trailer. I got a trailer... Uh, we'll get us another one for the canola, um, and our wheat as well. Might just need to bring, bring a big semi-truck down here. What do you think, guys? A big semi-truck? <laughs> I think that, because it's got that trailer, it's got two separate compartments in it, so that would be cool. I think that would be legit. Alright, guys, we are going to start, we are going to start over here. I am going to speed the time up here in just a minute, guys, so we can kind of get to some nighttime because it's nighttime here. So, uh, I will speed the time up here uh, to get the nighttime rolling. All right, give me one second, guys. Let's uh, get the nighttime rolling in here. There is a mod for everything.
Oh, it goes 9,000 times. God, that's not even as fast as it goes. Look. Get it dark. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. There is nothing like nighttime farming, guys. Nothing like it at all. All right, so if it's down, that's straw swath. Oh, you cannot do straw swath on canola. Bro, what are you doing? Oh, my gosh, guys. Do you see what I just did again? I'm so bad about it. Can you do? Oh, I, I do have the mod installed to do bales on canola and all that. So, yeah, I do have that mod installed. I forgot I installed that mod. Let's go ahead and get a worker on this, guys. And look at those lights at night. Man, guys, how could you not love this game? God, it just, it makes me, I, this game makes me so happy it does. All right, so we got a, all right, so he is ready for a drop, obviously. I'm pretty sure he is. Oh, yeah, he's ready. So let's go ahead and relieve the worker. We're going to lower our harvest down like that. Going to pipe in, and we are going to drop that header. Now, we're, we're doing that for a very good reason. Bro, can you get your lights on? Okay. Alright, now, let's go grab... We're going to go right here, actually. We're going to go right here. And we are going to grab us a trailer. We're going to get us a... We're going to go... I think we're going to go with the semi-truck, guys. What do y'all think? Semi-truck, guys? How are you feeling today, Lauren? You feeling better? I know you were, you were sick there the last couple days. What do you guys think? The semi-truck? The tractor trailer, guys? I think that would be uh, probably our best bet with all this. Um, with all of this uh, harvest we got going on. Um, let's see. I am looking for. We need that tractor trailer. That's the one I'm looking for. It's one of these. What's the difference? What is the difference between the two? Oh, one holds, okay. We'll get the one that holds the maximum amount of, uh, yeah, cause, so it has two separate compartments. Gonna go ahead and get that, and then we're gonna get us a truck. Need a truck with a lot of horsepower. A lot of, a lot. Oh, I forgot I had those packs, guys. Man, those are cool. They come with the lift hook. I love lift hook trailers, man. I love them. These trucks, guys, are so nice, man. Look at these trucks. Here is the one. One of these has a hook lift. One of them does. I'm pretty sure they have that, or you can set it up like that. That's a, that's a semi-truck. Okay, here's the hook lift right here, guys. I love these trucks. I love them. Hey, what's up, Streets? What's up, man? Streets, to do the semi. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Uh... We need something with a lot of horsepower. What does this have? 620? I, I don't know, but the time is just so bland. You know what I'm saying, guys? It's so bland, but it'll get the job done. We need to make it uh, either silver or jet black. I'm going to almost say jet black. Yeah. We'll go with the jet black. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and hook up. Yeah, see how bland it is, guys? It's just a bland truck, but... Let's go ahead and hook up. Alright, guys. You know what we really need for this right here, guys? This particular part instead of the semi-truck? We need the semi-truck to haul the harvest off. What we need for this is a tractor and an auger wagon. That's what we need. And that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take this semi-truck off the field. I don't know why I didn't think of that. 
Because I love auger wagons, man. Auger wagons are the bomb. All right, let's go back up here. And let's go ahead and uh, mark our spot here again once again, guys. I hope y'all enjoying the stream, man. I'm trying to keep y'all entertained as much as I can. I hope y'all are enjoying the stream. So we are going to get ourselves an auger wagon. Uh, right here. Right here. Alright, so we want to get the one that holds the mass capacity. Which is probably going to be between these two right here. Oh, that's 88,000. Woo, that holds a lot. But that one's nice too, man. That one's very nice. These are all nice. I, I used to use this one all the time. But it just does not hold enough harvest for me, guys. It just doesn't. Uh, with the farming that I do. Uh, 88,097 liters of harvest, so, but we're going to need two different auger wagons as we have two different fruit types that we're harvesting right now, canola and wheat, so, we're going to grab, wait a minute, we're going to grab this one, can we change the color of it? What's that red look like? Ooh, that's, that's really nice. Is that John Deere green? That's John Deere green. That red looks good, though, man. That red looks really good. Scale on. What? What? What is? What is that? Let me see what that is. Oh, on the side. I did not know it had that. That is cool. All right. Let's get one of those. We're gonna purchase two of these. Um. Let's go ahead and grab another one, and then. There's really no need in buying another tractor. Uh, we have plenty of those. So we're going to go back down to the farm, guys. We're going to grab ourselves a couple of tractors. And it's a good thing I have the Follow Me mod installed. Because I can have my, my tractor follow me back up here. Yeah, this is where them spotlights become in handy, guys, right here. Just gotta make sure I can see where I'm going, man, because I don't want to wreck this truck. And the next thing is I gotta figure out where I'm gonna park this beast at. We gotta figure out where to park this beast. Man, I can't see a daggum thing right now. I don't want to go off the hill, you know what I'm saying? Am I heading towards rocks? Am I heading towards the road? What am I heading towards here? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. That is the road right there. We are actually going to park this um, somewhere out of the way, obviously. So let's just pull it around right here for right now. We're going to park it right in here. All right, got that. Now, let's go grab our tra one of our tractors. Well, two of them. We got to get two of them, but we'll use the follow me mod for that. So, um, we'll grab our... We're going to grab this one. There we go. We got some light now. Jesus, I can see. Lord have mercy. All right. So put that one there. Let's get our, um, what else can we use? We have our fendant out there. Um, we can use this deer right here. All right, so we are going to pull up behind him. There we go. Alright. And here we go. Let's do it, guys.
Isn't that cool, guys, the follow me mod? That's so awesome. That's so cool, man. Man, that's so cool. I love modding. I love the world of modding, man. I love it. Dude's keeping up with me too, man. He is he's on my tail. He is keeping up with me. Look at him, boy. He is trucking. Alright guys, so I call it the copycat mod though, because he'll they'll do exactly as you do. Like, if I go like this, watch, he'll do it. Oh, I ran into the grapes. See? Now he'll run to the grapes. Watch him. <laughs> That's a good thing I got crop destruction off. It's a good thing I do. All right, I gotta remember what Megan and I think it's left shift, right shift H. I think makes him wait actually. Yeah. All right, that's cool. You got another potato harvester space? <laughs> what semis do I have? Cookies? Um. I have, I don't think I have any mods installed. Well, yeah, I do. I got, um, I have the ones that come with the game. These right here. And then this right here is um, the lizard pack. Um, uh, one of them has a hook lift right here. I'm sorry, that's the semi trailer, my mistake. This is the hook lift option right here. That's hook lift. Um, and then I've got these over here, which is like a regular dump truck, which I think is cool. I think it's pretty cool. How many liters does that hold? 1,200. No, I'm sorry, 60,000. That's a 60,000 liter tank? Wow, nice, man. I didn't know that. Holds 1,200 liters of fuel. I looked at that wrong. Oh, I'm sorry, cookies. I didn't show you all of them, man. My bad. So I got the dump truck, and then I got the one that carries logs, the logging truck as well. So... But it's got, you can do them differently, um, you know, do them differently. That's got 875 horsepower. Holy cow. Could I have gotten that one on this? Oh, I could have. All right, well, we got our stuff already. So we're going to hook up to these auger wagons, guys. Going to hook up to these auger wagons. Alright, and here we go. Oh, oh, let me get my other guy back here real quick. Let me get him relieved. Now these John Deere's, man, I love John Deere, man. It's, they're no joke. They're no joke. How far back am I? Let's uh let's reset and try it again. We'll go about right there, yeah. That's good. I hate that the mirror doesn't work very good on that side. Oh, I missed that. I missed that hitch. I missed that hitch. There it is right there. There's the there's the center of the trailer. Why can't I hit it? What's the problem? Where's the center of that thing, bro? Okay, it's right there. I, I mean, I, I, I thought I was right at the middle of it. That mirror's not working too great. There we go. All right, so you wait right over here. Is this tractor gonna pull it? It should, okay, there we go. All right, you wait right there. I gotta take him down uh, to the other field where the other harvester is and let him have a drop there as well. Pull up, man, pull up, pull up. You can pull up, there you go. All right, let's go over here and let's grab this tractor and let's head down to the other field, guys. I I have my own farm simulator server uh, streets. I do, brother. I have a my, my, I have a dedicated server that uh, Cryptic Monkey put together for me. Him and Cookies and Six Film. Uh, but yeah, man, I got one, bro. I got one. 
Man, this tractor is spinning like crazy with this. Whoa! Yeah, that's not gonna. Man, you know what? Well, I've got a weight on it. I've got a weight on the front of it. Ah, uh, just maybe a. Just a, I think these are lightweight tractors. So, oh man, look at him lighting the. Look at him lighting that canola up, man. Yeah, this thing is. Uh, all right, we're gonna park right down here. Let's jump in this harvester and relieve our worker. Spinning out over here, guys. We're spinning out. Whoa. Ho! That canola coming in, man. We're gonna we're gonna run back up here real quick, guys. The other field. He should be done. I think he is. He is done. We can get him back on the job. And then uh, next, we're going to pour our tractors over to the side. We're going to buy us a beller. And we're going to start getting these things built up, man. We're going to have to have a good-sized beller, though, guys. I don't know that I can go with John Deere. Um, but uh, we'll see what happens. Make sure you still got that straw swath on. Hey, yeah, he does. All right. So we're going to go over here. Well, we can actually just leave the tractor right here. He's not gonna come back over this way, so we'll just we'll leave it parked right there. And let's go back to the other tractor. Whee! Back down here. And he should be done as well. All right, now. We got a lot of stuff to bell up, guys. We're gonna have to have a massive beller. Take the jump, take the jump. Huh. Oh, I'd love to have some Peterbilt's cookies. That would be cool, man. That'd be cool. But hey, man, don't get me wrong, man. Those trucks I got are really nice, man. They're, the, I mean, I got them because of the horsepower, to be honest about it. But I love the uh, I love the color of them, man. The, that shiny metallic blue, uh, purple, or whatever you want to call it, whatever it is. All right, guys. So we are gonna have to get ourselves a baler. Gonna have to get a baler, not a baler. Gotta get a baler. Let's go ahead and mark our spot. Uh, let's go over to Belling Technology. That's a good bailer right there, but I want something that's going to be... Uh, and we're going to have to do the Anderson DLC pack. These right here, guys. We're going to do these uh, bailer... Uh, the bell collector trailers. We're going to do those. Okay, so there's the John Deere, but I just don't think it's going to... I mean, it works fine, to be honest about it. I, I would like to do round bells. That would be cool, to do some round bells. Because in all honesty, this this round uh, bell collector right here, guys. Uh, I'm sorry, not that one, not that one, not that one. It's this one right here. This one holds 24 round bells. It's part of the Anderson DLC pack. Um, so yeah, we'll probably do that. Uh, let's get let's get us a round. Is that a wrapper? I don't want to wrap anything. Well, it won't wrap it as long as it's not grass. If it's grass, it'll wrap it. But if it's not, it won't wrap it. But Oh, uh, man. That one right there is actually really a slow wrapper. God, I hate to do that. You know what? We're just going to go with square bells, guys. We'll go with square bells. We're going to grab this one right here. Oh, I got to up my money, guys. Hang on. I got to up my money. <laughs> I got to up my money. There we go. Yeah. We'll go with that. And, uh, all right, let's go grab us another tractor. Uh, we got to check back in with him. Oh, that's that machine. That's that one. Do I have another tractor available? That's my gator. Man, look at them lights, guys. I mean, I should have. I thought I had another tractor over here available. 
Yeah, I got that one right there. And didn't I have another one like over here? I don't. But we'll grab the deer. We will grab. No, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna grab a Massey Ferguson, guys. We're gonna grab a Massey Ferguson um, tractor. Gonna grab that. We're gonna have so much stuff on this farm, guys. <laughs> we're gonna have so many things on this farm. Have you guys seen this thing yet? The futuristic, uh, futuristic John Deere. It's pretty wild, man. It's got 500 horsepower. That's what we need right there, a big bud. We need to get those big buds, man. All right, let's check the horsepower on these things. Uh, oh, man, I forgot I had that JCB. That's that's a nice tractor. That's a really nice one. And what's the horsepower on that? 320? What's the required horsepower on the Beller? Oh, yeah, that'll pull it. No, no problem. Oh, yeah. So we'll get that. Uh, we'll get that JCB. I haven't used that yet. Um, we'll get. We'll get that one. Where was? Where was that thing at? It was over. Now this right here, guys. This is a really nice tractor. These right here are really nice. Um, ends up coming out with 517 horsepower. That's a nice one, man. We're gonna do this. Um. We definitely want the Michelin Michelin tires. We don't need to do double wheels, just some wide tires. And there we go. There we go. All right, here we go, guys. I've not drove a JCB in ages, guys. I have not drove a JCB in ages. It's been a long time since I have got behind the wheel of a JCB. Especially in first person. Only thing is I don't like about them is they're not that lit up inside. Like the, the John Deere stuff is lit inside. This one is not like that. It is not. And I am going the complete wrong way. I'm going the wrong way. Let's go back this way. Give me one second, guys. I got to get me a drink. Hey, Officer Lincoln Ray, what is up? Me? All right. I will do, brother. I will do. Oh, no way. You got it, man. Whoa, you got it, dude. Man, dude, congratulations, man. That is awesome. I can't wait to see that beast at work, man. That's going to be... It's going to be great. Dude, that is awesome, man. That is great, man. Jeffrey got his 3080, man. He got it. He got it, baby. He got that 3080. Nice, Jeffrey. That's. I know you got to be super stoked, man. You have got to be... You have got to be so stoked, brother. Yeah, it's a family chat that we have on Facebook, uh, Matthew. Um, uh, are we not friends on Facebook, Matthew? I can add you to the group, bro. I'll be more than happy to add you to the group, my man. I bet you are, man. You've got to be stoked, man. Heck, it may... Oh, my gosh. What am I doing? I cannot drive. It made me excited for you than just knowing that you got it, man. I can't wait to see you uh, play on it, man. It, that's that's going to be phenomenal looking at your graphics and stuff. Oh, my gosh, man. Where am I? This is not where I'm supposed to be. Where am I going? I'm on the complete opposite side of town. And where is, where in God's name is my icon for my, okay, now we're going the right way. All right. We got to go up here. Now we got to find our beller. <laughs> I can't remember where the beller was. Uh, let me go like this. Um, let's see where, where that bell is. Is this it right here? Is that the beller? That is the beller right there. That's the beller. All right. So let's exit out. We need to go right over towards that yellow mark. 
Right over towards that yeller. All right, and our bed order should be right. Okay, it's going to be up this way. It's going to be up this way. Oh, man, there comes our harvester, man. Look at that, guys. He is he is on the move, man. He ain't joking. He is on it, guys. He is on it. Where's my beller, bro? Okay, there it is. There it is. There's our beller. It's a lot of stuff to bell up, guys. A lot of stuff to bell up. Especially with just one tractor, you know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is you can't hire a worker for belling. You have to do it. You have to do the belling. So we are going to start, uh, before I start bailing, we're going to, um, we're going to check our tractors to see if they might need to drop. And then, I mean, our, our uh, we got to check on our grape harvester. We got to check on our, our uh, wheat harvester and our canola harvester. So got to check on those. All right, let's hop out and hop in. Now, I'm pretty sure he's probably almost ready for a job. We're gonna go ahead and go on over here. How do you pipe? Okay, that's it. Okay. I know there's a way to adjust this pipe. I gotta remember how to do it. Um, how do I adjust that pipe right there? There's a way to adjust that, but there's a way to... Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay. Like that. And it's got a light on it. It's a mod install, guys. called a pipe light. Pretty cool. It's a mod for everything, man. There's a mod for everything these days. All right. We are going to park him right here. Let's see how full our harvester is. He's at 98%. So we let him finish filling up. We're going to hop back over here to our other field. As our guy right here should be pretty close to being ready for a drop himself. Yeah, he's at 88%, so not too much left. Let's go ahead and grab our uh, tractor and bell or whatever we've done with it. There's our one tractor. Bro, where, where did I park that at? Where did I park it at, yo? I know it's not. I know it was like right up. Was it not right up in here? I thought my trailer and tractor was like right up in here for my. I mean, my tractor and beller. Did I not bring it up here? I could have swore I did. Okay, there's that. There it is, right there. It's underneath that. Uh, how's he going? No, that's not it. That's not it. Bro, what did I do with my stuff? Okay, here it is. It's back the other way. It's up on... It's up on field three. Okay, well, I knew it wasn't far. Up on field three. But it's gonna be right up here. This should be right here. Hey, I'm live right now. Okay, I'll, I'll come and tuck you guys in, okay? Tell Jazzy too, okay? Close that door on your way out, sweetheart. I love you. Close that door. Hey, I'll come tuck you guys in a little bit. Love you too, guys. Alright. Now, let's get our... That's what I'm looking for. Ooh. Drive me nuts. Is she really, Jeffrey? No kidding. <laughs> Bob, you said, well, I mean. All right, guys, let's get to bailing, man. Here we go.
God, I love nighttime farming. I love it. Look, there it goes, guys. Have some good tacos. thing doesn't turn very sharp the tractor itself I don't know that I like that doesn't have a very uh, sharp turn radius on it I don't think I like that oh guys we didn't check our uh, we didn't check our grape harvester we got to go check our grape harvester man we got to empty that thing out it's ready I know it's, oh my gosh, you got that great field. You'll be lost. Be like children of the corn. Okay, so where is our, where is our, our guy at? Where is he at? Oh, that's right. He's up there. That's right. He's up here. There he is. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm not, there's no way I'm going to take him out of this. This thing needs better lights on it. I'm not going to take him all the way out of this field. I'm going to back him straight up. I'm going to bring the tractor and trailer up here to dump it in there. And then I'm going to take him right back into the field. A lot of stuff going on right now, guys. A lot of stuff at one time. So the first video for the new map on CJ Farms, guys, for the for the, the new video will be a tour. It will be a tour of the map. We will not actually do any work until the next day. All right, we're going to park him right there. And then we're going to go back and get our tractor. Let's find out exactly where that is. I think it's over here. There we go. Here we go, guys. see uh okay he's right here we gotta pull right into here and get that trailer right up underneath the him oh not good enough not good enough oh my gosh it's so hard to back up all these trailers jesus okay let's go this way we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna sling her on over here Maybe we can get a better look at it, a better eye at it like this. And go into it. We need to get really close. Really close. Why does my camera keep resetting? Like, I want it to go out like that. There we go. That's going to be perfecto. There we go. All right, now we got it. Here we go, man. All right, we're gonna park him right here. And we're gonna get him back in it. All right, there we go, guys. So he's back on that, tractor's there. We're gonna go back up towards the fields here. 
Uh, I gotta figure out where everything is. Oh, that's my grape harvester. Uh, right up here. There we go. Alright, uh, I'm pretty sure we can back that auger wagon in there, so we'll do that. Lights, lights, and more lights, guys. I'm, man, Jeffrey, I'm super happy you got that uh, graphics car, bro. I know you've been dying to get that, man. I know you had to be stoked, man, when it came in. You was like, oh, my God, like kid in the candy store, huh? <laughs> All right, guys, let's, uh, no, 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 no. Pull it on out, pull it on out. There you go. All right, now back her on in there. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. There you go. We gotta clear that header too. There we go, nice and easy. All right. Oh, this is oats. We're harvesting oats. I thought it was wheat, guys. My bad. This is oats. Even better. Ooh. Uh, I've got a lot of moderators, yeah. <laughs> well, the moderators I have over in on the Criminal Justice uh, channel are moderators. Oh, excuse me, over here. So we'll probably be wrapping it up here very soon, guys. And then anytime we live stream, we will we will always pick up from where we left off, always. I might start live streaming here on Wednesdays, guys. Every Wednesday, I might do a live stream from over here. And the trailer is getting heavy. That's also a mod I have installed, guys. That's some, I can't remember what it's called, but it allows you... Um, it makes it... And it's like that without the mod, too, but it's more realistic with the mod... But the heavier trailer you have, the more it slows your tractor down. It just It's for the realism of it, to be honest about it. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty cool, man. I, I dig the realism mods in uh, almost at LSPFR and FS19, guys. I really, really dig the mods. They're really cool. Whee! Whee! Uh, okay, so where is our harvester? Um... And we can go under that. Okay. We can go under that. Canola's going to pay us good, guys. And oats. See, they'd be good if we had horses because then the oats would be... Uh, you could feed your horses. All right. So let me see if I can't pull this way and possibly just pull the trailer under like this. I might be able to do that. Should go right under that. And this is a small frame tractor, so it, so it should fall right down in there. There we go. Guys, we got two more likes to hit our like go with 30 likes. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already, guys. Smash that like button. Two likes, guys. Two likes until we hit our like go. Two likes. Two likes. I'm watching the like. Up. Oh, there's 29. There's 29 likes right there, guys. There's 29. We got 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29, 29. I really wish I could talk like an auctioneer. That'd be great. That'd be so great. All right, guys, let's pull him over here. And there's 31 likes. Appreciate that, guys. Hit our first like go of 30 likes. Uh, I don't know if we should set a new like go or not because I'm not going to be in here a lot longer. So, 
Um, but let's get back up here to our, our tractor and bailer and get back on that. Picking right up where we left off, man. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I could I could sit here and do this. I could farm all night long. No joke, guys, because I've done it. Uh, before I started YouTube, when I was doing when I was playing FS17 a lot, uh, I remember one day I started playing FS17, and I remember it was at four o'clock that evening, uh, and by the time the sun rise, by the time the sun had risen. I was still farming but I had a whole farm built guys I had a whole farm built and uh, I pulled an all-nighter man just stayed up by myself all night doing nothing but farming and when I got off the game I was tired the only reason I quit playing the game that night wasn't because I got tired of playing the game it's just because I got tired and had to get some sleep but that was it guys I pulled an all-nighter that night I could I done it man hey what's up wishing gamer what is that man Uh, Joel Bogger, what is up, man? I didn't see you in here. I'm sorry about that, brother. Good to see you in here, bro. Thank you for showing up the live stream. We appreciate you. Oh, I missed some back there. OCD, man. OCD, you'll get me. I got to get that. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Guys, we are going to have so many bells to sell. We got to put down a sell point. Um, or we can take them. I think you can take these to the Biogas plant uh, and sell bells there. I don't know how to be with... Uh, well, we sh they should take the canola bells and stuff too. Because normally you can't bell up canola. You can't bell up oats. Uh, that's just a, like I said, a mod I have installed. Ooh. Back up, back up. Oh, I meant to separate them a little bit more than that. Alright, wide turn, coming in. My turn coming in. Did I get all that? I did. Nice. Yeah, see how it resets me? Or maybe it's just different on this one. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That mod right there alone is so helpful and it's so cool. Uh, because you notice if you turn this way with the realistic cab view, you can see, but... There's, there's no view like getting this angle like this right here. You know what I'm saying? Getting that angle right there, man. There's no view like it, man. Like when I'm, when I'm driving my dad's truck, I can, I can go like this in the back seat and look at the back windshield. But nothing helps me see better if I get that. I go like this right here. But mostly, I'm a mirror user. I'm a mirror guy. I use a lot of mirrors when I back up. So. Push that on back, push it back, push it back, push it back. There you go. Oh, bring it on up. Man, I'm really trying to sit. Ah, oh, he missed stuff, man. You're fired! There we go, but ah, dang it. Come on, man. Get it together, CJ. Get it together, man. There we go. Oh, that's a lot. That is a lot. We're going to go with that easy. If we can even get all that right now. Yeah, we're going to have to back up and get the rest of it. Yeah, on both sides. I knew it was going to do that. Oh, watch out, man. Watch out. Watch out, boy. I'm going to try to I'm going to try to push that bell back a little bit where it's uh There we go. 
Take it on back. Take it on back. There you go. Now we can drop that one right there. <laughs> oh, God, I kill me. Guys, I hope everybody is enjoying the stream. Yeah, hero. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream, man. I really want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight. Uh, that's going to do it for this. Uh, keep on the sales, PFR. That's going to do it, guys, for this uh, FS19 uh, live stream. I want to thank each and every one of you for coming over here, um, subscribing to the channel, and hanging out with me. It's It's been awesome, guys. I had a lot of fun doing the grape harvesting. That was definitely different, something I've never done before. Um, but, guys, stay tuned in tomorrow. There will be a brand new CJ Farms episode out with the brand new map and a new tour, guys. We're going to be taking a tour of the map tomorrow. I'm going to show you guys around. And, uh, yeah, man, I hope to see you guys there. Love y'all so much, man. And subscribe to the channel here if you haven't already, ladies and gentlemen. And smash that like button for me as I would greatly, greatly appreciate it, guys and girls. And until next time, guys and girls, it's CJ Farms. One cop at a time. We are helping America grow. Guys and girls, peace out. I will see you all in the next video. Peace. All right, guys, I just seen where uh, LSPFR Gamer said, well, let's go raid Benzo. So let's do it, man. Can't pass that up. Cannot pass that up. Uh, let's go raid Benzo, guys. Let me go grab his link real quick. Let me go grab his link real quick. Let's find Benzo. Is he, what is he live on? Right? Was he on uh, SORP or is he, oh, he's doing LSP, uh, LSPFR. Is he live? He's not live right now. Benzo's not live. Is, oh, he's live on Twitch. Oh, he's live on Twitch. He is. Okay, let's go. Let's go raid him. Let's go raid Benzo on Twitch, guys. Let's go do it. Let's go raid him. Guys, be sure you give Benzo a follow while you're over there. Be sure you guys are doing that. Give the man a follow. He works very hard for what he for what he does, man. He works very hard. Benzo's an awesome guy, man. Awesome guy. Uh, why can I not chat in there? What's the problem? Why can I not chat? Why can I not? Hold up. Why can I not chat on here? I'm... Hold up, man. Am I on the right one? What's the problem here? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a death trap, though. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let me... Oh, I was on the wrong one. My, I'm an idiot. I'm such an idiot. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys. There we go. Hey there, CJ. Farm and Ray Downs. Hey, thank you guys for uh, dropping over here, man. We're getting a little bit of LSP bar over here on Twitch. I were following this guy. 
Guys, make sure y'all uh, follow Benzo uh, on Twitch. Give him a follow over there, guys. Uh, dude is my hero right there, man. Dude is my hero. Jeffrey, I don't even know if I'm following you on. Uh, am I following you on? I'm going to add you as a friend, bro. Let me go to your profile, man. Uh, what the heck, man? Um, what? There you go. What's, uh, okay, is that how, there we go. I'm gonna see, I know I'm following you over there, brother, I know I am. Yeah, I'm following you already, I'm following you over there already, man. Ah, right, guys, I appreciate y'all going over in, uh, um, Jeffrey, I sent you a friend request on Twitch, brother. Appreciate y'all going over raiding, uh, Benzo, I'm sorry I didn't see it until I jumped out of the stream, but, uh, guys, that's it. That is it, um. I love y'all so much, man, and uh, I'll see you on the next video, man. Guys, one crop at a time, we are helping America grow. I love you guys, and I will see you all tomorrow for the very first video on the brand new map. Guys and girls, peace out and stay safe. I love y'all so much. Good night, ladies and gentlemen. CJ Farms is out.